Hello friends, did your town just went through the hurricane or any natural disaster like this? Did you know there are lists available for your city for whatever natural act or disaster you may face it in future? There is a list of preparedness for that. So let's talk about Houston, Texas. Texas is prone to get hurricanes and with hurricane comes masses of bunch of tornadoes. So we had one just went through here on July 5th. So let's talk about Hurricane Barrel and the actual, really what happened to a lot of people as a real story and learn the lesson. So that way you can be ready with any natural disaster you may face in future. So first thing we all know in Houston to get ready for hurricane preparedness. We got ready on Saturday and Sunday before that. We prepared, we loaded up with dry can goods, water, you know, generators. So if you have generators, the oil, the parts, whatever it all, whatever else you need, you just go through the list, the clothing, the pack bag ready, uh, contact, cell phone full, uh, keep your cars fuel full uh, in case of all the shutdown. And Monday morning when people woke up, two and a half million people were affected with the storm. High wind, as high as 100 mile per hour, touched and went through the town. This hurricane was 100 mile wide. So you can just imagine it would take about four to five hours for it to go through at 15 mile per hour, basically to go through your area. In that four hours, it can create ever, which nobody had seen before. I've been living here for 40 years plus year, and I've never seen this kind of disaster on a category one hurricane. We were just taken in by surprise. Two and a half million people, no power. So first two days, nobody had power. Connect, who do you call? Uh, there were no internet, internet cell towers were down because of high wind and the tree falling on the power line, tree falling on major critical uh, running parts of the electrical, which really shut the whole city down completely. Houston and metro suburbs were down. Uh, immediately, the city comes to start working because they have their own preparedness list. But for two days, seriously, none of the people had power because they were thinking about this massive damage and two and a half million people, they needed extra help. City needed extra help to get people from surrounding towns and as far as from Florida, California, we saw people from everywhere helping here, the crew of 10,000 plus people putting, reinstalling the power lines back in one neighborhood from another neighborhood, one bite at a time. You know, this is what we saw and it makes me humble. It makes me proud of living in Houston, how Houston local government is so proactive. Preparedness. First, let's go through assessment of the list of what your damages are, because now you have to look for yourself. So first, let your family and friends know how you are. Check in with them. Check if they need help. Check if they can provide you help what you need, right? Three things are basic food, water, and shelter. So in my case, I had a food and water and habitable place because I have generator. Not everybody has generator. There is a little side story that we didn't have oil for the generator because we overlooked the hurricane preparedness list to stock up on oil. Well, that's a side story, but a shout out to HEB who were ready for the storm, who were ready with the generator, and they could open their stores in the wake of this next day, two and a half million people out, but they were running their stores fully, efficiently, well stocked up with the generator. So my husband could go and buy the oil needed for the generator and we had the generator to walk. Now my AC broke, that's a whole different story between that. Now we don't know whether anything to do with high winds knocked it out or whatever happened, but we didn't have air condition. That's why we got hot, but it was not because we did not have power. Well, once you check with your family and friends how they are and if they need help or if you need help, I hope you get it. Houston is a strong community. They unite in any kind of situations like this. Unity and diversity is a huge thing why people want to come and live in Houston. And as usual, people really started helping each other, going on door to door, knocking, hey, I have power, do you want to come to our house and just get a little bit cool? Also charge your phones and we will have some sandwiches if you want to eat. That's what Houston do. That's what local, local government does. And immediately we started getting news, flooded with news, the local news, the text, saying that there is a food available at this place, there is a water giveaway at this place. So people could drive up there and pick up the food and water for their family. 
Um, of course, the next thing gets, which is really full, is the hotel. Hotels were all packed, but you could call and call and call, and maybe you will find a place somewhere to get out of the house while you don't have a power for one week. And that is what was expected, to reinstall all the power line back and everybody to get the power. You don't know which day you will get. Well, I got it on a day four. Some people got it yesterday, which was day eight. So see, everybody had to wait. We were at the mercy of the center point energy who had their chart. Um, they put you through, they sent you the color map. It will tell you exactly where the power has been on, where power has been reinstalled, and where which area has been under assessment. And after assessment, next day it will be, they will send out people to reinstall the power back in your community. You have gone through everything, all the phases. Now there is nothing more you can do but to wait and watch. Once you get internet on, first thing you should be ready is, hope you have saved all your receipts of all the expenses related to Hurricane and taken as many pictures of damages which has occurred to you due to this hurricane. It could be high wind, it could be flood, it could be fire, it could be tornadoes, it could be anything. But these are the things, common sense thing, that you keep all the receipts related to that natural disaster and you keep as many photos as possible and upload them in one folder. Then go to your home insurance and file a claim. So I don't know what your homeowner's insurance is. It could be Allstate, uh, Liberty Mutual, Amica, whatever. Just go on their website. I hope they have a button there to put a claim straight for this kind of a natural disaster. And you can click the button on it, upload all the things, just fill out a basic form, and then wait for them to reply. Some people choose, since it's been declared by President, a federal emergency disaster where FEMA can help. FEMA is a second on in line for you to get your expenses reimbursed. You know, they can help you financially. They can help you with a lot of other things, with the lodging, boarding, whatever you need it related to this hardship. Uh, they will come help you. File a claim also with FEMA and give them all the receipts, give them all your difficult whatever uh, the picture is, whatever hardship you're going through. And if you still need lodging and boarding, they will help you with that too. They will help you with per diem. Uh, they will help you with a lot of things. I think this time they even announced they are going to send out $750 uh, check or the money in your account to uh, you know get help with the food and daily needs. So local government, federal governments are your two places and your homeowner's insurance. Between three of them, you're well taken care of. It's a beautiful life again, back. Just see that, just picture that. Don't get panicked, don't get disappointed because natural catastrophe, natural act of God is in no one's hand. All we can do is stay prepared and stay well equipped so that way we can deal with it. Whether you go in America, anywhere, uh, you, your city is going to prone to have some kind of hardships which is woven with that city. Like Houston, Texas, hurricanes, tornadoes, um, California, you see fires, earthquakes. Uh, East Coast will have different kind of catastrophe happening all the time. Tornadoes over there too, flood over there too. And carry a good insurances. If you are in a wind and storm area, keep wind and storm insurance. If you are in an area where the flood can happen, keep a flood insurance. Uh, these are all additional to your homeowner's insurance. Even if you pay off your houses, carry these insurance so to have a peace of mind and have a good night's sleep. Hope I have given you enough tips, enough advice to get and stay ready and never get dejected in the act of God. You are hit with the emergency. Uh, hope to see you next week. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to hear more every week, I release two videos. See you next week.